Good morning students. I hope you all have viewed the previous video in which we discussed General Science Chapter 5, Plant Reproduction. This is the continuation of the same chapter and we will be discussing on the topic Dispersal of Seeds. Dispersal of Seeds The process by which the seeds are scattered away from the parent plant is called dispersal. In other words, dispersal of seeds means transport of seeds from one place to another by essence like wind, water, animals or by explosion. Dispersal of seeds is very important because if the seeds only fall near the parent plant, the plants will not get enough water, space and nutrients. So dispersal is very important for the healthy growth of plants and also for the spaces of plant to develop and thrive. Dispersal of seeds takes place by the following essence. Number 1. Dispersal by wind. Some seeds are small and light in weight and have hair-like structure or wings. These types of seeds are easily blown away by the wind to far away places and they grow in the places where they fall. Examples of these seeds are dandelion seeds, maple seeds, drumstick seeds, cotton seeds, etc. Students, please turn to your book page number 55 then you will get the picture of dispersal by wind number two dispersal by water plants that grow near water bodies fall in water and are carried by the waves to far away lands this type of seeds have fibrous or spongy covering that helps them to float in water a good example of this type of seeds are coconut and lotus Students, please turn to your book page number 56, then you will see the picture of dispersal by water. Number 3, dispersal by animals. Animals also play an important role in dispersal of seeds. Some birds and also animals eat fleshy fruit, but the hard seeds are not digested. So they adjust the seeds from their bodies and fall at various places, for example, hazelnut. Some seeds have hooks, spines, bristles or projection that stick to the bodies of animals or to the clothes of humans. These seeds are carried away by the plants and humans to fur off places where they fall and germinate, for example, cucumber. When we eat fruits like watermelon, papaya, mango, jackfruit, oranges and throw the seeds in other places. If the conditions where the seeds fall are favorable, they germinate to form new plants. Students, please turn to your book to page 56, then you will get the picture of dispersal by animals. Number 4. Dispersal by explosion. There are also some plants that have fruits that burst open when the seeds are ripe. When such seeds explode with force, they are scattered around the parent plant when they germinate under favorable condition. Examples of such seeds are poppy seeds, balsam, and also pea pods. Students, please turn to your book page 56 and you will get the picture of dispersal by explosion. Students, I hope you understood. Thank you for today. See you in the next class.